Hi guys, it's Molly and today I'm going to try reviewing Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. I'm a bit nervous to try to review this because it's a high fantasy and I think it's really hard to review high fantasy books so I'm gonna be more general and I'm not gonna go into spoilers and things like that but I thought that it was a book worth recommending and that's why I'm making this review video and yeah. I really enjoyed this book, I'm rating it around 4.5 or 4.6 out of 5 stars. Um, it was of course recommended to me by Suraya who needed everyone to find out why she raves about it and I finally know why she hypes this book up and why she made me read it and I'm just glad that I actually finally picked it up and read it. So Finnegan of the Rock is basically about this one kingdom called Lumetier where one day the royal family got assassinated brutally and just, you know, everything was in chaos and within five days, so many things happened. The family got killed, the people were being killed. This is one, I'm gonna call her a witch because I forgot what they call her in the book, but she basically cursed the land where the people are going to be divided. Half of them are going to be trapped inside Lumetier and the other half are gonna be exiles, basically banished from the kingdom. While that happened as well, um, there's an imposter king ruling cruelly inside Lumetier and so that's what happened when Finnegan was a kid. So basically 10 years has passed and what happens is a girl named Evangeline claims that she has walked through dreams of people inside Lumetier and that the heir of the throne is actually still alive. Only he can lead the people to free Lumetier from the curse and from the imposter king. Basically, this book is about trying to free Lumetier from the curse and bring the exiles home to their country. And yeah, basically that's what it's about. I'm gonna start with the plot. I thought that the plot was just really simple but so so deep there's so much depth inside as you read along the book at first i didn't really understand what was going on i mean like it was a little bit confusing and it was a bit slow to get into but for some reason i don't know i couldn't stop reading and like halfway throughout the book there's like some twists and turns and it's like I feel like the plot gradually increases until the end and it just gets better and the twists make it a lot um, exciting as well. And then I want to talk about the writing. It's so unique compared to what I normally read. I mean, I like reading things from a first person perspective. But no, in this book, it's a third person perspective and so you sort of get the view from multiple characters but at the same time, it's not really their view. It's more like a storyteller telling what are these characters doing and at first it bothered me because i felt like it lacked a lot of description about what was happening in that particular moment and it bothered me because it felt so vague but after a while it was fine it was fine that you know it wasn't as descriptive it was fine that um Melina Marsh had I just skip certain things and just get straight to the point. For example, if someone is missing you're trying to find them, she just goes straight to the part where you actually find them and doesn't, you know, waste time describing like all the time that gets lost and everything. And I actually found that I really enjoyed that. And that was one of the things that made me continue reading the book until the end. And I just really enjoyed that it got straight to the point. Other than that, although I felt like it was hard to be attached to the characters because it's in a third person perspective, the fact that the characters were so attached to each other and the bond that they have with each other, that made the writing and the story so gripping and that was what made me attach myself to the characters and it felt like I was one of the characters inside um, the book and I was on this quest to um, help free the land as well. I feel like I haven't really read many books that could do that with a third person perspective so that was actually pretty incredible. And now let's talk about the characters. I thought the characters in here were just so lovable and just so strong. We have Finnegan first. I thought that he was a jerk at first and then he turned out to be kind of okay and just I like how honest he is and and how much he cares for certain characters inside the book. Kind of have this protective love over Finnegan and I think it's because the father um, has this protective love over Finnegan and that was what made me like have this 
feeling towards Finnegan as well. So it's like you have the feeling towards the characters because of it, because of the other characters um, feelings towards them. So I don't know. I love the bond within the guard of Lumetier, how loyal and strong and and faithful they are to the kingdom and to their captain and and to the hope that they could actually free the kingdom that they lost 10 years ago and that was just so great to read about. I thought Evangeline was kind of annoying at first but as we find out more about her, there's so much depth in her character that I can't even begin to describe how much I really respect her and she symbolizes a lot of really positive things for women as well. And then there's a lot of minor characters as well who actually play a big role inside the book itself. And reading how they develop just warms my heart. And basically, towards the end of the book, I'm just like overwhelmed with positive feelings and just, oh my god. I love how kind of realistic this book is. Sometimes I don't feel like it's a young adult book. I feel like it's more of an adult high fantasy because of how mature the characters are and all of the crap they have to go through through it's just it doesn't feel like it's a young adult but there's a lot of brutality and it's it doesn't have like gore or anything it's just kind of really brutal like people getting raped and killed and things like that but reading about how the exiled people had to deal with what happened and the people that they lost was just so heart-wrenching it was just it gave me a lot of feels basically so yeah I think that's all I'm gonna say about um, Finnegan of the Rock. I kind of don't want to talk about it too much because if you haven't read it, I feel like you should have your own experience going through the book. But make sure you read it until the end because it's so worth finishing. If you don't, then you're not going to get why I like this book a lot. I'm definitely going to read the second and the third book as soon as I get a copy. I think it's quite an underrated high fantasy so more people should definitely try to read it and then just come back here and tell you what you thought about it and let's discuss about it and again thank you Soraya for making me read it and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye